Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Burry, Family for the Gaming, and this is FG Politics on Term Limits. All right, so this might be radical to some people. This might be like just crazy, insane idea. Okay, I believe in term limits for politicians. Lifetime. Okay, and what I mean by that is... Uh, from from dog catcher all the way up to president of the United States, every single political office that people can serve in, I want a lifetime term limit. I am so sick and tired of these people who have served 50 and 60 years. I believe they get out of touch, okay? And you can see this from some of these politicians who admit to have never driven in 20 years. So how are they gonna actually tell us what it's like driving to and from work every single day if they're not doing it, right? If they're being chauffeured, right? They don't even know what it's like out there driving anymore. They don't even know what it's like, you know, trying to sit there and pay all the bills. You know, they don't, I get so irritated when a politician goes from politician to some cushy board job back to being a politician you know like how many of us are on boards really genuinely legitimately come on so a lot of those things these are like high high up law uh, jobs where they're getting paid massive amounts of money and we're like what you know or or, or they, they finish being a politician and they write some memoir or book and they get given you know tens of millions of dollars to write a book versus like like I've written uh, say what four or five books now and and trying to find a publisher publishers are like well if you pay us so much money we'll proof your book and we'll give you so many copies and it was like five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars to have them proof the book and write so many copies and then they're going uh, what is your marketing plan and how quickly can you sell you know, like, I don't know, a thousand books, and then buy more books from us. I was like, I'm sorry, I was the author, I wrote the book. I'll, I'll happy to go on any kind of radio show or TV show you want to have me appear on. I'll, I'll go do that, happily, literally. Like, like you set up the interviews and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'm there. I'll take time off the date job to do that. Oh, no, 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 you have to do that yourself. You have to figure that out yourself. You have to go make all those contacts yourself. What? Versus these upper class politicians who are just handed everything, invited to all these shows, right? Like, they're not inviting a little author like me. Oh no, I don't get invited at all. So, we know that there's a, there's a, there's a, you know, upper class, lower class. The politicians are treated like an upper class and we're like lower class. And they're acting like they're aristocrats. And so, I think one of the things that could help fix this imbalance is if they are given limits, right? And you have people that are, are dying in office as senators or um, representatives, U.S. House representatives. And, and there are people who they'll go from like a county to state to federal. Come on. Really? Like I said, when you sit there and hear about these people who have been a politician for 50 to 60 years, I've even seen some of them. Let's sit there and show the video of them, you know, walking very poorly with a cane. They're hunched all over, and they're supposedly representing a state as a senator. Uh, who's who's really in charge? Who's really running the show? When you see a guy, ah, 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 and then he, you find out he, you know, killed over and died, and 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 then something like, well, we'll give his wife the uh, the position. No. Don't do that. Instead, let's get fresh blood in there more often. I think I think part of the problem with the swamp of corruption in DC, with the stagnation in DC, 
the total disconnect between the politicians and we the people comes from the fact there's not enough fresh blood in there. As much as I disagree with AOC, at least she was fresh blood. Now, you see, she's in power and she's going to try to retain power as long as possible. Whereas I prefer politicians like Steve Largent. He, he went and did two, four years, whatever it was, then he left. You know, and I like to see more politicians do that. Go represent the people, do a few things, get out. So I think if we had term limits, not just for the president, but for being a politician your entire life, and let's say, let, let's even be generous. We could say something like 25 to 30 years. You could be a politician for 25 to 30 years. That's a huge chunk of time, right? A quarter of a century to almost a third of a century, and then you got to go do something else. You got you, you can't be a politician anymore. You got to go do a real job. You have to go you know do something legitimate and genuine. Because the other thing is, I think a lot of the um, nepotism that goes on is because these people, are, uh, they're just in one little circle of friends, and and there isn't this you know freshness that ever comes in. You know, you got people that they, uh, they just do whatever they're, they've always been doing. You know, you have, a, like right now as I'm doing this video, President Joe Biden's what, over like, like 50 years, I think, of being a politician. I mean, I don't feel like he represents me. I don't feel like he understands me. And, and, it's, and he, to me, he's just like, like Clinton, Obama, Carter. They'll sit there and say all these wonderful things, and then they go get in office and they do whatever they want. And then they campaign the next time and they go see all the wonderful things again, which they haven't been doing, right? And of course, then you have the media not you know, holding them liable for what they've actually done compared to what they've said. And you go, this is ridiculous. Someone who, who has been in the uh, politics, in the public eye like that, for 50 years should not be there. Uh, to me, that, that's twice as long as someone who should have been there. That's my opinion. I mean, you can disagree. You can leave a comment below and be like, no, no, no. I want politicians in there forever. I don't care if they die in office. If that's really what you believe, then, you know, explain it to me. I, I, I will listen. I have, a, I have an open mind where I will listen to what you all have to say about it. Like I said, this is my opinion. I understand it might be kind of radical to some people, but I, I think we, we stopped short when we did the term limits on the president. We should have, like, continued and added it to Congress, to the Senate, um, I said, I would have even passed it all the way down just as a lifetime, a lifetime term limit. And people say, well, no, no, I want, you know, 35 or 40 years. We can discuss that, how long, but there should be a limit on how long you can be a politician, especially as people are living longer, you know. So that's my thoughts on this topic. I thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.